Evolution at War podcast coming your way. This is episode 426, compound episode, guys. Steve C here and Ricky V as in virtuous rock the Rickster. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, Steve? What's up, guys? How's everybody doing out there? So today, guys, we're going to be talking about a little bit about the Joe Rogan. Uh, Rick's a big fanboy of Joe Rogan. Um, and we're going to do the episode where he talks about testosterone and libido boosting herbals. And we're going to talk about some of these herbals that are out there, guys. I'm sure many of you have heard of them. They're in products and they're really, really cool stuff. Uh, these herbals really, the nice thing about these herbals is the, they don't give you negative side effects the way certain drugs do, and they don't shut your pituitary glands down so you can get the benefits without having any negative effects on the body so we're going to talk about this a lot of you have been asking about these products so rick you know tell us a little bit about what made you want to do this episode and then um we'll hit it uh well it's something that i've known for years just being in this thing, in this industry, looking for things. And I'll tell you guys a little story of how I came upon some of these herbs as we listen to it. Uh, I'll pause along the way and we'll, we'll comment a little bit. But it was just cool to see someone on a very mainstream uh, a podcast, on a very mainstream way of reaching people, uh, just kind of say something that I'd known for uh, 16 years now that I've been um, dealing with for Doja in one way or another uh, and Tom Catalina and all these herbs. So let me uh, start playing it and we will discuss along the way a little bit, Steve. It gets obsessed with a problem and yeah. goes into the literature and then starts tinkering around in the lab and it, it's, a, it's a process. It's, it's an amazing art. It really is. It's, it's just too bad the human body breaks so easy. <laughs> well, there are things, there are things, I mean, I think that the, uh, you know, we hear a lot about age longevity, you know, living a long time, but, mm -hmm. but there's the other one, which is performance longevity. Yes. And I'm, I'm very interested in that. And Stanford has a whole, uh, growing interest in human performance. And I've had an interest in this for a long time. I mean, you know, there are all the things that we talked about for normal health and well-being for the general public, all the stuff that before 2020, no one thought about. And now people are saying, oh, maybe I should take some responsibility for my mental and physical health, yes. sleep, hydration, physical exercise, all the things that you talk about and, and that I certainly believe in wholeheartedly people should do in the high in the world of high performance. You know, those same things, it's going to be light temperature, hormone, you know, the yes. hormone augmentation thing is always a little bit of a complicated discussion, mm -hmm. but there's so much that's happening there right now. That's really interesting. Like what? Well, for instance, um, sort of back to the topic of supplements, I always say, look, their behaviors are the fundamental layer. You have to do the right things if for anything, for sleep, for learning, for uh, sports performance, but then there's nutrition, supplementation, prescription drugs, and then off label stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we always think about when you hear hormones and sports, you always think just the raw conversation about anabolics, all the banned stuff. We can yeah. talk about that stuff and how it works. Years ago, I used to work on androgens, testosterone, and its derivatives and how it impacts brain development and body function, fear, and, and also mental states. But there's a category of supplements that are very interesting that for most people who aren't exploring testosterone augmentation for sport, work very well to increase testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. Not, you know, 300, you know, not a tripling or anything like that. And the main ones are two substances. One is called Tongat Ali. Oh yeah, Which that is, stuff's real, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, because the, what happens is the testosterone molecule, it it's basically carried in a cargo. So it can be in its free form, unbound form, free testosterone. And everyone says, oh, I want more free testosterone. You want more, but the, these, what are called sex hormone binding globulins. So there's something called sex hormone binding globulin and albumin. They carry the testosterone molecule to the different tissues of the body. So you don't want all your testosterone free. You want some of it bound up so that it can be delivered to the different tissues, including your brain. But if you have too much sex hormone binding globulin, the testosterone can't really do its things. Okay. So Tonga Ali, about 400 milligrams per day, has the effect of raising free testosterone and overall testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. And so we're not talking about full TRT or blasting or now that I, I'm always amused on YouTube, they now call it sports TRT. That's when you get above 200 milligrams per week. So sports? this is basically, you know, you've got TRT, which is typically about 200 milligrams. Per and week. we say 200 milligrams when you're looking at a he probably needs 200, and I think clarifies later, he needs 200 milligrams every 15 days because 200 milligrams a week, and we've said it here before, that, that's not TRT. Would you agree, Steve? Yeah, and that's one of the things when I first listened to that part, I was like, you know, I was like, no, 200 milligrams a week 
is way it's too not much. not to you, yeah. Chuck. Yeah. Yeah. Not not per week. So if he's saying every 15 days, then yes, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Then he, that would, he'll, clar- yeah. he'll clarify it later. Yeah. But you know, I'll tell you what, guys, Tom Cataly, I've been using it, uh, testing it, messing with it. Before I started my company and uh, I knew about it 16 years ago, it's just when he says there's a lot going on there right now, he means to like the general public. Steve and I have been, and Steve's been using for Doja for a decade. He was a customer of mine, you know, ten, over 10 years ago. So really, uh, when it comes to, when it comes to this stuff, um, really, um, uh, to them is new and they're talking about it. Like he's never heard about it before, but we've known about it for years. And Tom Catali is an N2 generate and an N2 generate ES. I, I used it in my products over, over a decade ago. When we first, uh, released uh, the first HG Generate, which is now N2 Generate. Uh, has Tom Catali. He's going to talk about for Doja Grass this too. Yeah. I'll tell and you then, guys and then for Doja Grass the story. And then uh, Long Jack. Yeah, I was going to say Tom Catali and Long Jack are, is the same thing. So in case you guys have ever heard that, and there's are, there's definitely studies out there about how Tom Catali helps with stress hormones, psychological. LJ100 mood. is the brand name. Uh, I think we use LJ100 on our HG Generate. Yes. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, we LJ100, um, Long Jack, Tom Cat Ali, all kind of the same, different names for the same uh, herb. Yeah, and then you know you can look up. I was gonna say you can look up studies on how it helps with cortisol, drops cortisol sixteen percent, drops anger, tension, confusion, which are negative psychological thoughts in your mind. You know, by eleven to fifteen percent, drops it helps with stress hormone profile. You know, one so of, yeah. one of the reasons uh, HG Generate and to Generate came about is I, I didn't really think bodybuilders were going to stop using Clomid to just use my product. And to be fair, I've used Clomid even with my product. It's just that Clomid always made me feel like shit. And coming off of the steroids, it just didn't didn't feel good. And using the herbs, get, you know, made me feel better. And I realized it was just a place for my product where if somebody's using Clomid and they're getting moody, they're getting bitchy, not feeling good. They're coming off of the sauce. Uh, the product would make them feel better, make you feel like you're on again while you're recovering. So it'll give you, it'll give you, it'll chill you up. It'll improve your lifestyle really day, day to day while you're still recovering. And, and then when you come off of the product, you, sh- you should, you should have already ran your, your full post cycle therapy and, and be good again. So, um, and, and, if you don't use anything, if you use it standalone, it's a great testosterone booster. And he just mentioned there how Tonkat Ali raises testosterone by how much, and he's going to get into some more stuff. So here, here, I'm going to let it roll. So that type of, is that a thousand milligrams? So the typical dose of, of uh, testosterone replacement therapy mm-hmm. is 200 milligrams given once every week to two weeks. But when you look at a full syringe, what is week that? Week to so two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Right, like- 200 milligrams typically of cipionate which is sold one out. cc a full cc is only two- one cc is not going to be that much it's it yeah so it depends if you have a little narrow syringe okay right right but if you have a, a, a syringe that goes up to 10 that, that? that's it does sound like like joe's yeah. trying to get advice for his own use like well it sounds like it sounds like joe has no fucking clue about the stuff that's what it sounds like yeah, yeah it's not his, he's, it's he's not like his, shocked his, oh my god one cc is, oh my god that's 200 well they make it even for up to 400 milligrams a milliliter yeah some underground yeah, he, lab he he the, the the guy could have done a a better uh and by the way let's mention his name here it's andrew hubberman so andrew could have done a better job of explaining just saying look there's a difference in volume and in potency you know it's it's a different it's a difference and it could prop could be 100 milligrams cipionate usually comes in in two to 250 milligrams you know you could have kind of clarified it but anyway let, let's keep it rolling 10 cc's that's, that's a lot. 10 cc's yeah that's a thousand okay. milligrams that makes sense right. Right. So- 10 cc's of a thousand milligrams so he's talking about prop then right because propionate comes in 100 megs because 10, 10 cc's if you do 10 cc's it's two and a half grams if you do 10 cc's at 250 megs that's two and a half grams i think i think he's probably like a little nervous that he's on the podcast that he doesn't realize he's maybe making well he's a, if he's you know he knows about supplements you know he a lot of people they know about supplements but they don't understand the how you know these anabolics how they work yeah because so, he just said yeah. 10 cc's okay so let's just keep oh, around. That, it would be two on that and that's yeah. 200 milligrams that's right so well, okay, oh, so as long as we're going down this path, like two yeah. full syringes. Yeah, I mean, I actually think that a lot of people who think they need TRT, when I hear about guys in their 20s and 30s, it, it, 
I mean, look, I'm in my mid forties and I can tell you that you can get and maintain very healthy testosterone levels without TRT. If you do the right things, the behaviors, the nutrition, all the other stuff early on, there's sometimes people are with hypogonadal syndromes and things like that. There's but, a lot of issues with guys with head injuries and with head injuries. And yeah. absolutely. And, we, and we, it'd be an interesting conversation to talk about the role of testosterone in, in neural repair. It's very interesting. Mm. But when you look at TRT, I mean, the way that the clinics and the doctors typically do it is to give 200 milligrams and then send people out for two weeks and then they come back because they can charge them to come back repeatedly. It's clear that on a, without any TRT, the testes normally make anywhere from seven. See there, he said it, 200 milligrams and then send them away for two weeks. That, that sounds more like it. Two, you might get a, fifth, a shot of 200 mg every, every 15 days. That, that sounds like typical TRT. And the 15 milligrams of testosterone per day. So taking this massive dose and then waiting two weeks is absolutely foolish. It doesn't, it's amazing to me that the, the medical profession does this because it doesn't match anything about the normal patterns of endocrinology. It's just not how the body works. The way it's been described to me to do it is to do it um, with an insulin syringe and to do a tiny amount every three days. Right. That's correct. Yeah. So 0.2 mil, you know, 0.2 mm -hmm. mil. So maybe you know, yeah. 20 to 60 milligrams every, every few days, every third day or so. Right. That much more closely matches the normal pattern of release and avoids these estrogenic crashes. And a lot of problems that are that are layered onto estrogen are actually problems with prolactin, which is a molecule that's involved in milk letdown and lactating women, but it actually shuts down the sexual desire and aggression. You know, when uh, this is interesting about prolactin. So um, this happens in brooding birds and it happens in humans. They've done this, a study published in the journal Nature, which is our kind of apex journal, showed that when the husbands of pregnant women because of something, maybe a pheromone, maybe some odor of the pregnant woman actually increases the man's prolactin when they're pregnant, puts body weight on the guy, starts laying down body fat, presumably to prepare the father for the long sleepless nights ahead because humans have always co-parented. Wow. Um, I'm mostly co-parented. We, so we all know what men do there. far more, but it's true. out there who get fat. Don't feel bad. Yeah. That's so what's the, going on. the dad bod is, is in part real. due to an increase in prolactin. Oh, and man. testosterone and prolactin are kind of working in opposite fashion. So it's a very interesting thing, but uh, the way you describe it is, but want the increase in testosterone. There are these plant compounds. And not just that, but there's actually a study um, that men who pair with a female, live with a female, their testosterone levels drop naturally uh, just from living with a female, you know, before she even gets pregnant. All right, so here we go. Keep it going. It's like Tonga Ali. And another one, which is very interesting, it's the Nigerian shrub called Fadogia agrestis. And it mimics luteinizing hormone, which is the hormone that comes out of the hypothalamus that stimulates the testes if you got those and the ovaries if you've got those to make more testosterone or estrogen. And so those two herbal supplements together can give a significant boost in free and active testosterone. So you said Tungat Ali can give you 100 to 200. Yeah, about that. What does the other one give you? Fidogia is usually taken at about 600 milligrams. Um, and that can mean the, the most dramatic effect I've ever seen with somebody who had his testosterone down in the low twos or i think it was like low twos and it, he got it up to the 700 range which but really? that's it but that's an outlier right most people are going to see about a three to four hundred point increase and that's what the two of them syn synergistically yeah. Fidogia will actually make the testes grow it's a, really? it's a it's a noticeable difference so everybody wants that <laughs> well the reason i know about this stuff people are probably thinking like you know huberman's running gear out of the back of his car so that's not what this is about is that i running gear out of the, the fact that he knows this lang term gear and he used it quickly and freely the way he did um he knows about the underground. He's probably he's probably on Evo. <laughs> he's probably reading Evo every day. Let's keep it going. I do a certain amount of work with military, and I do a certain amount of work with professional athletes who cannot take androgen compounds out of a syringe because they'll lose their job. Right. Or they've been doing that and they want to come off. Although, and I'm not going to out the organization, but there is one major professional sports organization where let's just say if somebody gets injured, they have permission to take up to 200 milligrams a week of testosterone. Soccer. No. 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 Sure. no. But good guess. <laughs> you almost got me there because <laughs> I almost countered with, with the actual thing that it is. Hockey? Uh, no. Although those guys have the, the, head, injuries. the head injuries. So actually, so that, again, right? the head injury thing is, is is a serious problem, obviously. So testosterone has the... All right. So um, do you know what the league is, uh, Steve, by any chance? You don't want to say... I mean, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's any of the main sports rig. I think it's probably like something like wrestling, like WWE or e even UFC, something like that. But I don't think it's any of the so, main sports. That would so, be my guess. So, um, for Doja Agrestis, I've known about for Doja Agrestis since about 2006, 2005. So around that time, um, a doctor, uh, which 
let me see if I could remember the, the doctor's name. It, it might, name might escape me now. I believe the guy's name was, uh, I think you, Jakubu was a doctor. And uh, he was a doctor from Nigeria, grew up there, whatnot. And he realized that these, this herb was being, was being used in folk medicine for I mean, as far as he can remember. So he decided to run some tests on Fadoja agrestis, which people were already like, you go into the market, you could pick up Fadoja agrestis for your tea at the market. I mean, you could, uh, it was a thing there. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I believe that locally there were people encapsulating Fadoja agrestis already. Um, and it's to just grinding up the, the, the shrub and, and having uh, capsules uh, for supplements for, for local uh, distribution. And I heard the, the, heard the, the show it was a, a superhuman radio. This guy uh, used to do the show, Carl Lenore. I don't know if he's still around. He probably is. And um, he, I heard this doctor on there, you know, he talk, saying all about it. Uh, I believe it was Jakubu um, was the name of the doctor. It could be, could be a different name. I hope I'm not messing it up. Uh, but, you know, let, let me look up the study real quick. So then um, there was a study published uh, about Fedoja aggressors, and I thought it was great. I, I, I knew it was safe because it had been in folk medicine for a long time, and it wouldn't have survived the ages of humans taking it if it wasn't, if it wasn't safe. And then from looking at the studies, it looked, like it did what it did. It looked like it looked great. So at the time I was a young man, didn't have a lot of, uh, a lot of funds to play around with, but I was already in the industry working and I had helped uh, a few supplement companies with their marketing and, and turn some profits. And then I, I approached one of them and said, Hey man, uh, I got this, you know, I got this, this, this lead on this herb. If you can find a good supply of it, put it out on the market. I'll market it for you. I got the guy we can put in front of it. We'll market it. And we made it happen. I designed the label on my own computer, you know, work with their uh, the manufacturer, work with, with his, this supplement brand that they had manufacturing capabilities, work with their compliance team to put the label together. Um, did just, the contract was just emails. That's what it was. Emails back and forth. Learn my first lesson to do about contracts on that one, guys. And he, you know, we sourced the herb, um, got, got some samples in used. I used it before everybody else. I had people I trusted around me that, that I trusted to give me good reviews on stuff to spend some, some samples around. I mean, everything looked great. And we, we put it on the market, put the marketing material together for it and put it on the market. And it did great. It, it did awesome. There were guys coming back on the forums, guys that, that whose nuts were shriveled for years, like hardcore dudes. Back then, there was just pretty much every competitor was on, on EliteFitness.com uh, posting. Um, now they are, they're still there reading, <laughs> but now, now they post on Instagram. Back then there was no Instagram. There was no Facebook. People were just posting on Elite. And, uh, and guys, nuts were growing back. People were using it for PCT, and it was just, it was incredible. Just, it, and it was just at that time, it was just the Fedoja aggressiveness and with some vitamin E and, and, um, and we added uh, zinc and magnesium. But it was just mainly just the Fedoja Agrestis. And the results across the board for everyone were, were great. And there were more studies, subsequent studies done about Fedoja Agrestis. And uh, that partnership with that supplement brand ended. Long story short, uh, again, learn my, learn my lesson about contracts and things like that, that time around. And then... Uh, it, I kind of, there's a little bit of a side note. I kind of got like my first taste of what it was to actually not just, um, not just receive a, like really do my own project. You know, I got some nice checks and it, and it opened my mind up to what I, the possibilities I could, I could, I could put together. And then like, probably I said, look, there's a really good formula here. Let me figure it out. 
So I got Fedoja aggressus. I got a bunch of tubs of different herbs, a hand capper, a scale. And I don't know, just over two years worked on like putting together what I felt would be the perfect, perfect post psychotherapy formula. I really wanted people to use this instead of Clomid, but I, I just knew no, nobody would really. So it had to be something that, that really complemented Clomid, complemented HCG, like something that worked well with those attain hand those hands those results and that could also stand alone you know i i thought i had something here so uh, that's how hc generate came together about two years uh and i made fedoja the base of it a gram of fedoja per day and on top of that we do tonkatali divanial tribulus which i was real familiar and, and a real believer in tribulus that tribulus was the first herb I really used along with Clomid for PCT that made me feel better. And then from then on, Tonkatali and then Fedoja came around. And anywho, long story short, uh, that was, uh, I, I think I introduced the first uh, product, uh, me and, and the manufacturer, uh, other guy that, that we put as, as, the, as the figure for it. Um, I think we introduced the first Fedoja Restus product into the U.S. probably 06, 2006. Um, that partnership was kind of short-lived. It didn't. It didn't last. Uh, it was a small project for the for the larger manufacturer slash brand. Um, and then you know things got again learned about contracts. Things got a little difficult. It was all decided just kind of each person went their own way. And I went directly to to the lab to figure out what, what was going to be my first really hot product natural product to bring to the market and as i designed the product as i worked on it for a couple of years all i could think of and all i thought about was the end user being this guy on, on the sauce this guy on steroids relying on this product for their pct relying on this product during the during their cycle to keep their testicles plump to keep you know keep you know when you're a man you know when your junk is working right or not you know when it's working right or not and, and so I just kept that end user in my mind. And over, a, again, a couple of years, I tested and I stacked my, my chips a little bit and figured out what, what the right time and the right way to do it. And then uh, Need to Build Muscle was, was born. You know, Need to Build Muscle uh, and to BM Nutrition, which we call it now, was, was kind of born from, from that first situation. I, I realized like, hey, I can, I can put together supplements I can offer them to, to, to people. People can love them and, and want to come back. Over, like, I can do this. And it, it culminated into the company that, you know, we, we promote on the podcast every day. Our main podcast sponsor is my, my brand, Need to Bow Muscles. You guys know I make, I make no secret of that. Every episode uh, when I promote the brand, I start off with the products that I make. Because I really do make these products for obviously me. I take them. I take my products every day. I got an unlimited supply for me, right? And then, really for sure, I, I, you guys, guys on the sauce taking steroids. I've been thinking about you guys forever, and it's just great. It's great to like listen to this podcast that this was recorded just a few months ago, and now in twenty twenty one, people are are finding out about Fedoja Agrestas on Joe Rogan. Wow. Um, I was I was part of the of the small team that put the first uh, the first Pedoja Aggressus product out in the in the U.S. I think you know correct me if I'm wrong. There's another another uh, one, and you're in the industry and you know better. Hit me up. But uh, here we go. Keep listening to the podcast going a little bit longer. Effects we're all aware of, like deepening the voice, facial hair, muscle growth, recovery, etc. Mostly because testosterone increases protein synthesis. You look at a, a young male in puberty. It's a protein synthesis machine. Yeah. They eat, they eat, they eat, and they just grow and grow and grow, and they're putting on muscles, and they're lean, and, you know. So most often they're lean. But in any case, testosterone has some very interesting effects on the brain. The, the major mental effect of testosterone is it makes effort feel good. Oh, that makes sense. And the reason it does it is that the amygdala, this fear center in the brain, this anxiety center in the brain, has androgen receptors. It has testosterone receptors. And so... it. it the way this works in animals and in humans as well is that for most species, the males of that species never get a chance to mate. 
right? So if you think about, uh, I'll probably pick an example where you'll, you'll know the exception because I know you know a lot about natural animals and animals that are hunted. But if you think about animals with antlers, like rams, there's been a lot of research, believe it or not, on rams. It'd be fun. Mm. To, I'd love to work on that. You know, rams have enormous balls. And they have to fight for the right to mate. Yes. And the fighting is a choice. Right. And the decision to walk away is a choice. Usually they usually don't kill each other, although I know some of the injuries can lead to death. So testosterone, these surges in testosterone that happen seasonally in certain species like rams or even these little hamsters, the males will rip each other's testicles off in order to fight for the right to mate. So males of a given species have to actually overcome the fear of pain and punishment. And the surge in testosterone is what causes the shift to the willingness to engage in battle. Mm. And so when humans are taking low doses or, or reasonable doses of testosterone, or they're increasing their testosterone, or they're going through puberty, effort and leaning into pain and challenge actually has the effect of making the body feel soothed and good. It's a drive, just like sex is a drive or drinking water when you're thirsty is a drive. No News 21 uh, listening to our podcast. I mean, you guys, you guys know all too well uh, the benefits of of shooting these androgens and how you feel in the gym. And that's why a lot of guys feel like shit when they come off the sauce. They don't feel like training anymore because the testosterone androgen levels have dropped again. And to generate, actually generate my product is one of the reasons I, I knew it would work for PCT because just standalone, it gives you a ton of drive. So uh, we all knew that. Uh, again, this is all news to the general public. Um, the people who live listen to, to Joe Rogan or are, are there, you know, to hear about other stuff, politics and whatever else. But, um, but for you guys, this is no news. I'm sure. Yeah, guys. So I really, I really appreciate every single one of you that buy my products that support the podcast that support what we do here. Uh, I don't like to just think of my company and myself as just selling supplements. We, we really, we really try to be the home for all of us here that are into enhancing our body, our lifestyle, um, makes us criminals, makes us uh, people that doctors don't want to deal with the proper way. Our family members sometimes dislike some of the things we're doing, but that's just who we are. And, and I think all of us need someone we could call a place to go. Uh, when we have questions, when things aren't quite right, when we got to make decisions, because there's a lot of decisions that need to go on in this lifestyle on a day to day basis, everything from training to working out to chemicals you put in your body. So I hope you're getting a lot of uh, good value and enjoyment out of this podcast. I hope that if you guys ever have any issues, any problems, you'll reach out to me, rickyvrock.com. Uh, if you go there, you can follow me on social. If you buy any of my products and you look at the bottle, there's a, a phone number there. Text that number. That'll get right to me. I'll help you out with any questions, anything, anything that you need. Reach out to me on social. I'm always around for you guys. You know, the, the supplements I, I bring to market, really good supplements for guys that are enhancing. If you're on the sauce, if you're on the juice, you should be taking my stuff. You know, bodybuilders have always taken natural supplements along with the juice, always have. It was just that bodybuilders, we used to repurpose products from brands that weren't thinking about us. They were just doing normal products for liver support, like in the, in the Lift 52, which is a little bottle, little product that every bodybuilder used to take with their orals. But I took kind of the, the, that formula as a base and built n guard on top of that, I I wanted to continue to help the bros out and also be able to make a living somehow. And, and I just bring in these really strong products to market that I believe in, that I use myself. Um, I can help you guys out by giving you the best option and natural products for your cycle. And I can be here for you to answer your questions. And I can do this podcast for you guys a couple of times a week. And I can answer some, some questions on the forums. So I feel very fortunate, very lucky to be able to do this every day. Um, I really appreciate every single one of you guys that believes in us and, and believes in you know, the brand. And I guess it's my store. So need to build muscle.com. That is my store. I'll link, I'll link it in the description of this podcast today. And uh, thank you guys. Thank you, Steve, for uh, showing up, you know, every, every week and, and doing this, this show with me. It's um, you know, and, and using my products. And I know 
I know you wouldn't do this if you didn't believe in my products, if you had a your long time customer before you, yeah, I've been I've been a customer for um, N2BM for over twelve years. So really, since the start, maybe the first year you were in business, I've been a customer ever since, and uh, I've been using them. And they're uh, they're terrific products for sure. They're um, the nice thing about the products is they they're not bullshit. You know, we see a lot of bullshit being sold out there. So these are hardcore supplements for the hardcore person, you know, cycle, steroid cycles, on cycle, post cycle, in between cycles, staying alone. So they're not just a bunch of fluff products, you know, that you would get from a, you know, typical vitamin shop or, or online, you know? Yeah. You know, my products, I sell direct to consumer because they cost quite a bit of money to make, you know, these are heavy bottles, a lot of ingredients, great, great quality ingredients. And so they cost a good bit to make. And so I've put myself in a corner where my products are, are, are fairly up there in price. If I try to do a lot of wholesale, there aren't a lot of uh, brand, a lot of uh, stores that are that are willing to, you know, the products would have to be way more expensive for me to create a margin for a middleman for a store. And right now with the pricing we have, it, it supports, you know, restocking and it, and it supports the operation. And it's very hard to get wholesale because, uh, you know, stores want to make, you know, if they want to more than double their money on your product. And it's just, it's, it would just be a way too expensive for the consumer. So for the most part, we sell just ourselves direct on Amazon. We have a, a, a little bit of a presence on eBay. Uh, we have a, a guy in, uh, in, in Europe, uh, Predator Nutrition. They actually have all of our products in Europe. We have a couple of uh, of wholesale wholesale uh, outlets, but not not very much. So, the company and we've stayed small because of this. Steve just mentioned thirteen years ago. Yeah, it's been about that long since we founded the company, and we're still a, a small operation. Just a, not even a mom and pop shop. Just a pop shop. That's all it is. And I don't need a lot of money to live on. I'm not trying to be you know the next. Uh, a huge brand. I'm not sponsoring IFBB athletes. A lot of them use my products. A lot of them take the money from these other brands and they just use my stuff. I know a lot of coaches suggest Entogar to their competitors. That's just a fact. And so I know my products are out there. I know people know about them. I know if, if you've used steroids or before you're using them, I know you know about Entogar. And I've been happy to live in that spot. Just, just, we don't put, run ads on magazines. I don't like trying to get into every store and, and create a middleman situation for you guys. I, we ship all of our own bot bottles. We, I answer all of my own customer support questions and I'll find to just stay a very small boutique brand that serves and caters the steroid user. Cause I understand the steroid user very well. I am one and I understand the needs of the steroid user. And so I'm fine with just my whole brand being focused on, on the steroid user. And, and that, that means I can't uh, maybe uh, get endorsements from some mainstream figures. And that means that the guys that are in the industry pushing supplements are, are going to take a check from a company and say they use that, but really use my stuff on the low, low <laughs> without anybody finding out. Um, I'm, I'm okay to live there. You know, I'm, I'm okay to live there. Uh, I'm happy to do this podcast for you guys every day. And look, uh, today was a little bit of a, of a long advertisement for my company. I know some of you guys don't enjoy those as much as, as you do when we provide raw content, but just wanted to put it out there for you guys uh, and to generate and to guard. Those are my, my two uh, uh, main products for the steroid user. We do got into slim, we got into shampoo for your head. We got T3 PCT to help your, thyroid work, maximum output, and to burn, stimulant fat burner is out, and to KTS, my pre-workout, it's, it's, it's up there, it's waiting for you guys, and to sleep, sleep aid for nighttime, so we def I definitely have a good store to help everybody, the, the end to sleep is great for those nights where like the, the trend and the testosterone is getting to you, you just can't fucking sleep, you take that into sleep, make sure you shut the lights off, get, rid get off your phone, try to lay down, count some sheep and you'll be, you'll be sleeping no time. So I, I, all of my products cater to the bodybuilder, the steroid user. And, uh, 
this is where I like to live, this little space, and I'm happy <laughs> with my small uh, little pop shop I'm serving you guys every day. Love taking your phone calls, love texting back and forth, helping you guys with, with all of your questions. Um, love it when you guys write me on social and tell me what kind of subjects and what things we should talk about here. When you give me good questions to put on the podcast, I really appreciate all that. Please keep the communication going. Keep writing. If you have one of my bottles in your possession, look at the phone number on there, uh, 631 phone number. That's me. Just text me there and I'll take care of you, help you out in any way that I can. So uh, I, that's all I got for today. Uh, uh, Steve, you, you got anything? Yeah, guys. And don't forget Ancient Strain too. That's a good product. That's an excellent product because it's a uh, triple creatine to, product, Ancient Strain. Yeah. You don't have to mix that creatine anymore. So that's uh, that's very important. So these are quality products, guys. So definitely check it out, guys. And uh, you know, N2BM is um, without N2BM, we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to give you guys all this information. So thank you, thank you to you, Rick, as well. Thank you to N2BM. Thank you to our producers, and thank you to for Evolutionary for giving us this opportunity. Evolutionary uh, org. So the forums come on there if you want to speak to me. I'm always I'm always available to you guys. I had a guy uh, hit me up uh, today. He's like, he's like, Steve, you know, can I get a consult with you? You know, blah, blah, blah. Maybe next week. I was like, dude, come on, man. Next week. Let's do it, man. Let's do it today. He's like, what? I'm like, fuck yeah. Let's do it today, man. Like, why do we got to wait till next week? You know, let's get it done. You, you know, guys, don't waste time, guys. Come on the forum. You got a question? Come on the forum and ask it. I'll answer you. I'll answer you the same day. Rick will go on there and Rick will answer you. I mean. So, I mean, it's don't wait a week. Don't wait two weeks. Let's let's do it, guys. Don't procrastinate, you know? So we'll get you going in the right direction. Come on the forum, do a log, you know, and um, motivate yourself. So, all right, guys. So this was number seven. Any, any of you guys, any of you guys that, uh, any of you guys that want a, want a free bottle of something, hit me up. And if you do uh, a nice log, on the on the forum is I could work something out for you guys and hit you up with a nice bottle. If you do a nice log on social, we'll work it out. If you already bought my stuff and you have it in your possession and you want to help me get the word out about my company to everybody else and you put stuff up on, on social for me, I'll work something out with you. I'll refund you um, the cost of, of the products you help me promote. Just, just, just come out. I like, that's what I like. I like real people that use my products, sharing their real experiences. That's why I don't, I don't pay athletes to to uh endorse my stuff because it it should be word of mouth it should come from a from a good place of someone being happy with the products and recommending it to their friends which a lot of you guys do a lot of you guys heard of my products because they got recommended by someone that tried them and really enjoyed them and and the day that i the day that we stop growing through word of mouth is the day I realized like I need to do something about my formulas. I need to do something about my approach. So long as my products continue to be the, these heavy loaded bottles that give you all the stuff you need and um, give you a great value. I mean, the, the, the starting price is it, it's, it's kind of premium, but you're getting all that value. The value is completely there. The value is they're, they're supplements that sell for half the price. You just compare the, the supplement facts and the weight of the bottle and what you're actually getting and you'll realize that I'm giving you an incredible value. So um, yeah, guys um, hit me up. If you need anything, uh, we're always here. So uh, with that, I'm signing off Rick out. Have a good one, Steve. Have a good one guys. Guys, this is the required legal disclaimer. We are only sharing our experience from years of steroid use. We are not doctors, and none of what we say should be regarded as medical advice. Always check with your doctor before taking any drugs or starting any training program.